What is going on everybody? It's your boy Anthony, Long Island Fish Guy here. And on today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at my brand new discus aquarium. It's not a new aquarium. If you guys have been following along with my channel, uh, you guys know about my 75 gallon grow out tank, which is right over here. I said in some of my previous videos that this is kind of like a 1.0 of it being a grow out tank and then I had some longer term plans for the 75 gallon aquarium. The discus aquarium is the 2.0 plans for this aquarium and my long term plans for this aquarium. I am super excited to show you guys what I've done and without further ado, let's hop into it. If you guys do like this video, be sure to like the video and if you're not subscribed to my channel already, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any other content like this. Here is the discus aquarium. You'll also see that it actually has some of the older, uh, you know, tank mates in here. We have the clouded archer fish in here, which I don't think I've ever seen someone on YouTube or anywhere keep archer fish with discus. This is actually something I've really kind of wanted to focus on doing actually, and being one of the only YouTubers who could potentially keep uh, archer fish and discus together. I know that people typically like to keep discus biotopes, things like that. Uh, archer fish are actually not from uh, South America or Central America. They're from, uh, I think they're uh, Burmese uh, or India, S somewhere in Asia, some, uh, somewhere or Thailand. I'm, I'm not sure. I think they're, they're I know there's a Burmese uh, archer fish. So I love archer fish. They're extremely unique fish. These are not banded archer fish or, or brackish water archer fish. They are uh, completely freshwater clouded archer fish. Um, so I'm very, very, very excited to keep, actually, I'm, I'm actually planning on growing that school a little bit, as well as build, building, uh, building up the school of discus I do have. We do have the uh, Tigranus catfish in here. That fish is still continuing to grow and will live in harmony with the discus. And kind of naturally, this sunshine pleco that I do have down here, uh, I actually kind of came to the conclusion that he'll stay inside this tank. I initially put them in here as a, as a kind of a grow out. It's one of my favorite pleco, actually my, probably my favorite pleco I do have. Um, that has kind of been jumped around uh, aquariums down here. And I think he's finally found his home in the 75 gallon aquarium. And we'll kind of be like the show pleco inside of this aquarium. I purchased two sets of discus. discus. Uh, I purchased these two guys, which are happen to be together here. I think these are uh, super brilliant blue or turquoise. I'm not sure, something like that. <laughs> I'm not that good of a discus. Uh, guy yet. I'm still learning and I'm trying to get into it a little bit here, but these guys are awesome. The quality of them are pretty good. I bought them from Aqua Hut. He's kind of known for his discus. So I wanted to, you know, see what <laughs> see what it was about at the Aqua Hut uh, for, for discus. Um, and so far so good with these guys. Then I went to another store actually and purchased two smaller ones. Uh, I actually put some blood worms in here as well. So that's why the fish are kind of eating and scavenging right now. But this is this guy right here is actually one of the smaller ones. The, I'm gonna, if I'm being honest with you guys, one of the other ones died. So I kind of learned a little bit that, you know, kind of just doing some research, you kind of have to watch out where you're getting your discus from because sometimes the quality can be a little bit questionable. But this little guy's been doing really awesome, actually. He's been growing. He's been eating like a pig. He actually was significantly smaller than the one who died, and actually has in the past month to month and a half got to be about the size of the one that died. But overall, I'm really excited about this aquarium, guys. Really excited because, uh, if, I've, if I'm being honest with you, discus-wise, I've always been kind of the person who's always said, you know, the typical person that goes, I don't really want to get into discus because, you know, discus are hard to keep. And I really don't know if I'll be able to keep them. And, you know, they have such high, you know, got to do five water changes a week and they have to eat a lot and the temperature needs to be high and all this stuff and upon my research that's why i kind of wanted to only test out a few discus at once upon doing my research i kind of saw that in 2022 that discus really aren't that difficult to keep uh if you get the right stuff uh, these guys are at about 84 85 degrees i feed them about once a day they eat blood worms and they eat uh, spirulina flakes. And I plan on actually, you know, kind of increasing the types of food that they eat. But so far, so good. They're in a tank with some pretty aggressive eaters. Um, I actually do have some other fish in quarantine right now that will be going into this aquarium that are, are, again, a little bit of an aggressive side of eating. But these discus are really kind of getting all the food that they really need. And, you know, the, the tank is, is at a really good temperature. I have boatload of filtration on this aquarium as well. And so far, everything's been really awesome. 
Um, I'm obviously going to be getting more discus for this aquarium. I've been kind of up in the air, which with like kind of where I'd be getting those discus from. I was thinking about maybe getting them from like an online retailer or even potentially going back to Aqua Hut for them. Uh, but I'm really not sure. I'm really not sure uh, what I kind of am going to be doing in regards to where I'm going to be getting these new discus from. But I'm not going to lie, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty happy with the two big ones I got. Uh, the little guy over there I'm a little bit questionable about still. But uh, I'm pretty hopeful that he's going to make it. I know that you also kind of want to keep your discus all around the same size. If you are a discus keeper and you do have any advice for me or for anyone in the comment section below, definitely go ahead and drop some comments. I definitely would love to hear what you guys have to say about discus keeping. Uh, I do know that in regards to tank mates, you do definitely have to watch out in regards to tank mates and temperature wise and things like that. So that's why I kind of wanted to keep it at a nice, um, nice medium temperature for all the fish. So nice 85. Um, it'll be a little bit higher for some of the other fish but also probably just square in the middle for some of the fish like the discus um, that, you know, typically, like I said, 85 is probably the best. From what I kind of read online, 85 was, was, was a pretty good temperature to keep discus if you want to keep them with tank mates, which I definitely want to do. Now, a lot of you guys will know from my channel that I do like big monster fish. You guys can see from this aquarium here. <laughs> I do, this is my 220 gallon aquarium. I like keeping big monster fish, stingrays, datanoids, peacock bass, you name it. I kind of wanted to try something new. I've always kind of been intimidated about having discus. And I really kind of want to make this tank like a very awesome looking discus aquarium. Where I just have, you know, maybe anywhere between six to eight giant saucer plate looking fish in here. Uh, it's a little bit messy right now, but this is my desk. I edit videos from here. I work from here sometimes. Uh, I sometimes will watch television here. Uh, and I just always, you know, I kind of look and admire my 220 gallon aquarium. Um, and then recently I've been admiring this aquarium. So I'm definitely looking forward to kind of building out the stocking inside this tank uh, and really kind of just building it out. I, I'm really, honestly guys, I, I don't think I've ever been as excited for an aquarium as I am about this one. Well, <laughs> maybe the 220 because that's a big monster tank, but this is definitely a nice, uh, uh, you know, this is this is definitely a nice runner up here in regards to being excited about setting up an aquarium. But let me know what you guys think about this tank and the stocking, if you think I'll be successful doing this or not. Um, so far, so good in regards to, you know, everything kind of being compatible and not really having depths other than a very poor quality discus that uh, a newbie was kind of picking out. I do also plan on keeping this tank planted. I actually took all of the plants, not all the plants, but I took some splits from the plants from my planted tank upstairs. This is an Amazon sword that is not doing so well. And I think it's because the combination of the Tigrinus catfish, as well as the Sunshine Pleco, I think that what happens is they kind of scour in the middle of the night and they rip up all the roots. So that's why there's a big mountain over there. It's because I kind of just threw a giant mountain of sand on top of the Amazon sword to see if it would take, but it's taking, it doesn't take, it's, it's all up in the air. And these Java ferns that I have, uh, they, at first they look terrible inside this aquarium, but they're actually beginning to come back. Like I know they don't look great right now, but you can kind of see some, some uh, nice leaves kind of uh, coming out of them. Um, I also have some more Java over there, some more Java over there. And this is actually a monster Anubius right here. This is one of those big giant pieces of Anubius that I actually cut off. So this, this piece of Anubius actually has potential to be very large and pretty cool inside this tank. Being a discus guy is definitely not something that I have been or really have appreciated if I'm being honest with you in the past. Just these two discus alone, like if I had like six or seven of these guys all kind of moving together like that, man, like that's, that's exactly what I want and I really kind of can't wait until this tank gets to that point. Like, see, as you guys can see, like these archer fish, like they school together, the discus will school together. And the long-term plans of some of the other stocking I have for this aquarium, um, it's just, I just keep saying this over and over again, but it's, it's gonna be so awesome, guys. I just can't wait till this tank is done and I can show you what I plan on doing. So guys, let me know what you think about this new discus slash archer fish aquarium. I'm really excited about this tank. So it's something I kinda wanna tackle. Um, I'll learn from it. And I can always then bring back what I've learned to you guys. But that's going to be it for this video. So if you guys did like this video, be sure to subscribe. Check out some of the other content here on my channel. Ding that notification bell if you already subscribed. Most importantly, don't forget to fish on.